everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel and part one of this three-part tutorial. In this three-part tutorial, we will be crocheting Marietta Roy's Lost Souls Stole. This is a paid pattern that Marietta asked me to create a tutorial for. Please note, this channel is not affiliated with Marietta Roy patterns and all pattern sales go directly to Marietta. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Now let's get started. For my project, I'm going to use three skeins of this Super Saver Ombre. You will also need an eight H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving in ends. To begin, create a slip knot. Now chain four. Yarn over, pull through for chain one. Never count this loop on your hook as a chain. Now foundation double crochet, 201. To do a foundation double crochet, yarn over, just like you would for a regular double crochet, insert into this very first chain, so the fourth chain from hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first loop, as if we're chaining one, and now we have three loops on our hook still, so we're going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Now we're just going to continue in this fashion. So again, yarn over, insert your hook into now this chain here, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the first loop, so chain one, and now make a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Once I get to 201 foundation double crochet, I will meet back up and we can move on to the next step. Here I have 201 foundation double crochet. That first chain three where you turn will be also counted as a double crochet. Turn to begin row one base. Begin the row with an alternative starting double crochet. Pull up your loop, so it's almost as tall as a traditional double crochet. And put your finger on that loop to hold it there. Then wrap your yarn around the loop as if you're yarning over and insert your hook into the first stitch. Now grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Still holding that loop on your hook, we now have what resembles three loops on the hook, just like a double crochet. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops yarn over and pull through the second two loops. And there we have an alternative starting double crochet and this works instead of chaining. Next, double crochet into that same stitch. Chain three, skip four foundation double crochet, and into the following stitch we're going to double crochet chain three, and double crochet into the same stitch. Now chain three, skip four stitches, and we're going to do what they call in this pattern a shell. A shell is going to be a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. Now we're going to begin a repeat. Chain three, skip four stitches, double crochet, chain five, double crochet and same stitch, chain three, skip four stitches, and shell, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. So that's going to be our repeat. So next what we're going to do is chain three, skip four stitches, double crochet, 
chain five, double crochet and same stitch, chain three, skip four stitches, and shell into the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Repeat this all the way down your row until you have 10 stitches remaining. Then I will meet back up and we can finish row one. So here I am at the end of row one and I have 10 stitches remaining. Now what we're going to do is actually mirror what we did when we started. So again, here we go with that. Chain three, skip four stitches, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same stitch, chain three, skip four stitches, and into our very last stitch, which is that chain, we're going to place two double crochet into the very top of that chain. And then turn to begin the next row. Here I have turned to begin row two, chin. Now for this row, we're going to start building our faces. And I wanted to explain that this chain three at the beginning is going to actually be half of a face. And then these chain fives, they will build up to a whole face. To begin, alternative double crochet into your first stitch and double crochet. Chain three, and place three double crochet over this chain. You don't wanna work into these chain spaces because you want your stitches to slide around on there and also it creates a more round look to the bottom of the chin. Three double crochet, then chain three, and we're going to shell into our previous shell. Now we are going to begin a repeat. Chain three, skip that chain, and place five double crochet into this chain five. Again, working around the chain, not into the stitches. Chain three, and shell into your previous shell. So again, your repeat is chain three, five double crochet into that chain five, chain three, and shell in shell. Work this all the way down your work. I will meet back up when we get to the end of this row and we can do this part together. So here I am at the end of the row and I'm just doing that chain three and then three double crochet into that chain three of this face right here, chaining three, and then you're going to skip this chain three here and this double crochet, and then into the last double crochet, you want to double crochet twice. So one and two. Now turn to begin row three. Here I have turned to begin row three and mouth. So we're going to alternative double crochet and double crochet into this first stitch. Then chain three and single crochet into this first double crochet of this set of three here. To single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through both loops. Then chain three and single crochet into this last of these double crochets here. And there is, being this is half a face, so this is gonna be half a mouth right here. And now chain three and shell into your next shell. Now we can begin a repeat. Chain three, single crochet into this first double crochet of the double crochet five set here. That's the chin. So now we've got to make the mouth. Chain five, 
single crochet into the last double crochet. Chain three and shell. So again, our repeat for row three is chain three, single crochet into the first of five double crochet, chain five, single crochet into the last stitch of the five, chain three, and shell in your next shell. Repeat this all the way down your work, and once we get to the very end again, I will meet back up and we can complete the row. At the end of row three, this is how my work is looking. And lastly, what we wanna do on this row is chain three, then single crochet into this first of these three double crochet, chain three, single crochet into the last of those three double crochet, chain three, and then skip this chain three and this double crochet here, two double crochet into the last stitch on the row. Turn to begin row four. For row four and lip, you're going to alternative double crochet and double crochet into the first stitch. Then chain three and single crochet into this single crochet here. Then place three single crochet over this chain three here. Single crochet into this last single crochet. So now we have five single crochet over here. Then chain three and shell in shell. Now we will begin a repeat for this row. Chain three, single crochet into your previous single crochet, five single crochet over this chain five, single crochet into your last single crochet, chain three, shell and shell. So again, the repeat for row four is chain three, single crochet into your previous single crochet, single crochet five over the chain five, single crochet into your previous single crochet, chain three, shell in shell. Repeat all the way down the work and once we get to the end again, I will meet back up and we can complete the row. Here I am at the end of row four. And of course, the last thing we want to do for row four is chain three, if you're right here at this shell, and then single crochet into that first single crochet, three single crochet over that chain three, single crochet into your last single crochet, chain three, then skip your chain and that double crochet into the last double crochet, place two double crochet. Now turn to begin row five. To begin row five, nose, do your alternative double crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Chain three. Double crochet into this first single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, then double crochet into the following stitch. Your last two single crochet here, just place one single crochet into each stitch. Now chain three and shell in shell.
Now we're going to do the row five repeat. So chain three, single crochet into these first two single crochet. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip your next stitch double crochet into the following stitch. Single crochet into your last two stitches. Chain three and shell in shell. Again, row five repeat is chain three, single crochet, single crochet, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, chain three, then shell in shell. Now we're just going to repeat this all the way down. Here's how my work is looking at the end of row five. And I have just completed my last shell, so chain three, single crochet into your first two single crochet here. Double crochet into your next stitch. Chain one, skip this stitch here and double crochet into the last single crochet. Then chain three, skip this chain and this first double crochet here and into your last double crochet, place two double crochet. Turn to begin row six. Row six, eyes, begin with an alternative starting double crochet, and then double crochet into that same stitch. Chain three. Single crochet over this chain one space here. Then chain five to make an eye hole. Half double crochet into this very last single crochet here. To half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Chain three and shell in shell. Now we can begin a repeat. Chain three, half double crochet into this first single crochet here. Chain five, single crochet into this nose space right here, the chain one. Chain five, half double crochet into the last single crochet here. Chain three, and shell in shell. So again, the repeat for row six is chain three, half double crochet into your first single crochet, chain five, single crochet into the chain one space, chain five, half double crochet into your last single crochet, chain three, and shell in shell. Repeat all the way down your work and I will meet back up again for when we finish the row. Here is how my work is looking at the end of row six. So here at the end I have completed this last shell here, then you want to chain three, half double crochet into this first single crochet here. Chain five and single crochet into this chain one space. Then chain three, skip chain three and double crochet here and then two double crochet into your last stitch. Then turn 
to begin row seven. Row seven, brows. Alternative, double crochet into your first stitch and double crochet. Chain three. Skip all of this here, including this single crochet, and go right from that chain into five single crochet here. Then single crochet into this half double crochet. Chain three, and shell in shell. Now we can begin row seven repeat. So chain three, single crochet into your first half double crochet here. Then place five single crochet over the chain five loop here of the eye. Skip this single crochet here and work five single crochet into your next chain five space. single crochet into this half double crochet. Chain three and shell in shell. So again, the repeat for row seven is chain three, single crochet into your half double crochet, single crochet five over your chain five loop, skip, single crochet five over chain five loop, single crochet into your half double crochet, chain three, and shell in shell. Repeat that all the way down your work and once we come to the end, I will meet back up and we can complete the end together. Here is how my work is looking at the end of row seven. And to complete row seven, of course, here I am at the shell and then chain three, single crochet into that half double crochet, and then place five single crochet over the chain five. And then you're gonna skip this right here and chain three, and then into your last stitch, place two double crochet. Now from here, rows eight through 23, will be repeated until desired length. So that will all be in video number two. We will catch back up for row eight, and I will see you there. Make sure to check out the description box below, that's in the dropdown, and that will have a link to that second video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Bye.